Our sentience, our self-knowledge is unique on Earth and possibly the universe. We appear to be the only creatures that are aware of our own demise. We contemplate it, ignore it, panic about it, or rejoice in it. We do all of this through the dimension of time. Time appears to be abundant in our early years, an infinite resource. However, around 28,000 days after we are born, on average, it runs out. Now, there is no inherent reason for ageing or death through old age. It's not built into our DNA. But over time, our DNA is slowly broken down by free radicals. Some of these are generated by our own internal workhouses in our bodies, the mitochondria. The usual suspects, the sun, radiation, smoke, alcohol, etc. all contribute to this deterioration. This net effect means that the DNA cannot build the same physical cells in 3D space as some of the information is lost forever. On average, this leads to the aging process. Skin loses elasticity. Hair loses colour. Joints and bones become weaker. And over time, cells lose their ability to stop dividing. And they become cancerous. As we age, we are increasingly aware of the certainty of time passing. We can represent our future in meaningful timescales as multiples of that which we have already lived. We have an internal body clock physically represented in the brain that determines how we measure time, how time fits into our holographic image of our world. This actually slows down, and so time speeds up as we age. The way we feel about time is also dependent on how this internal body clock links into memory and our emotional reactions to it. Sometimes a few emotionally intense passing minutes can feel like days when we are stimulated with new important information from our world. Children experience lots of new things with strong emotional impact, so time passes much slower for them than for adults. Sometimes though, days can mundanely pass by in what feels like minutes. The fastest relative passing of time is for adults who are in a repetitive cycle of events and have developed an emotional numbness in response to their stressed out, monotonous lifestyles. 
Rather paradoxically, this group tends to be the most materially wealthy. So what exactly is time? To us, it feels like a continuous, forward-flowing part of life that is never changing. The infinitely possible future becomes the present and in no time at all becomes the no longer existing past. We are so bound to time, it controls our lives from the moment we are born. Events happen in time. We grow and learn in time. We work and play in time. And eventually, we run out of time. But what of all the time before we came into existence? Those 13.7 billion years went by pretty fast. Obviously, I was not there to witness it, passing by, tick by top. So if I'm not there to see it, does time exist? Did the 13.7 billion years really just flash by? If it cannot be measured by an observer, then what does time become? Coma patients wake up and are surprised to hear today's date. It's now months or years ahead of what they can last remember. No time at all seems to have passed for them. It is obvious that time is very much linked to the way we create our reality through the brain and ultimately through our consciousness. <laughs> 